Lord. At this time, I'm going to call on my sister, Amen, Evangelist Carla. She can come and sing for me, Amen. Praise the Lord, Amen. God bless her, Amen. Jesus went on to them. 
them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. Hallelujah. Pay close attention to these next few verses. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the watch. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked out on the water to go to Jesus. Hallelujah. And I stopped there. And the topic that the Lord gave to me to speak on to you tonight is this. Step out uh-huh. into the storm. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Step, out Step out into the storm. Into the storm. You know, a lot of times we focus on how Peter sank when he was walking towards the Lord. And that's an important lesson to learn. But the lesson doesn't begin there. You got to back up a little bit. We see here the disciples are in the ship as they had been a previous time, amen? All right. Amen. Remember back earlier in the scripture, the disciples were in the ship together and Jesus was in the bottom of the ship sleeping. Yes, sir. The wind began to blow and the waves began to toss and the disciples got afraid. They came down and shook Jesus roughly and said, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And what did Jesus do? He looked out on the storm bridge and he said, Peace, be still. And he quieted down the waves, amen. Praise the Lord. And so the disciples find themselves in the ship yet another time, amen. And they see the Lord coming to them on the water, amen. And yet again they are afraid. You see, the storm has a habit of bringing fear into the hearts of men, amen. Because, you know, the storm is a frightful thing, amen. I remember a few years ago, I went with some of my friends up north in Canada, amen, and we were out on the lake, and it was evening, and we were fishing, and I was just looking at nature up close, amen, and fishing was a beautiful thing, and I realized the glory and the power and the majesty that God has endued into nature, amen. So it's not any wonder that when nature starts to get rough with us, amen, it's a frightful thing, amen, because you see the creation of God at work, amen. So when the winds start to blow, amen, and the waves start to toss, it's a scary yes, thing, sir. amen? Yes, because sir. you look at the power and the fury of the storm, and then you look at yourself to say, well, who am I? Right. I'm just a person. I can't contend yeah. with that storm. I can't contend with those 100 mile an hour winds. Wow. I can't contend with those 60 feet waves. And so we, kept, we get afraid, and we become fearful, amen? And that's what happened to the disciples. And they looked at me and said, it's a spirit coming to us. But then, hallelujah, Jesus spoke the word. He said, be of good cheer, it is I, amen. And Peter, realizing who it was, amen, he started to make a step of faith, amen. That's right. That's a- he took that opportunity to prove the Lord, amen. That's- you see, that's the thing about the storm. Though the storm might be scary, amen, it might cause us to fear, amen. But when Jesus enters into the storm, he brings us an opportunity to prove his word, amen. amen. God gives us an opportunity to let him show himself God yet another time. Amen. You see, I believe that Peter looked back at the last experience that they had. He said, well, I remember the last storm I was in. That the master said, peace be still in the storm, calm down. So if it is the same Jesus, this time as the last time, I do believe he can do something in this storm as well. Amen. Don't you know that the same God who brought you through the storm of your childhood, who take you through the storm of your adolescence, who take you through the storm of your adulthood, can take you through the storm of your later years. Because my Bible teaches me that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Amen. So if he is God over the storm 10 years ago, hallelujah, although Paul, he will be the God over the storm 20 years from now. You see, we may change, but he never changes, amen. amen. Hallelujah. So Peter took the opportunity to put the Lord to a test, amen, to let the Lord prove himself. And what did he say? He said, well, Lord, if it's really you, knowing full well that it was Jesus. Well, Lord, if it is really you, beg me to come. And Jesus, knowing full well that it was he, said, come. And what did Peter do? He stepped out into the storm, amen. And at that moment when he made that move, he put away all thoughts of himself 
security behind. Leave behind all the comforts of home, amen. Leave behind everything that we have known, amen, and trusted in up until this point, amen, and step out in faith. Can I give you a little testimony in my life? You see, as Bishop Wells said, I was brought up Kojic, amen. A lot of you remember my father, amen, Pastor Tanner, amen. Praise the Lord, amen. I grew up in the church, grew up in a God-fearing family, amen. Came up, amen, taught to fear the Lord, taught to serve the Lord, amen. Came from a good church, good background. Yes, sir. Everything was well. But there came a time, Bishop, when a storm arose into my life, amen. Yes, sir. When all the things that I was trusting in suddenly could not carry me through, amen. Yeah. You see, sometimes you got to step out of the ship because where you really need to go, the ship can't go there. You see, the scripture says that when Peter stepped out of the ship, he went to where Jesus was. And you know, sometimes you reach to the spot where the Lord is waiting for you, you got to leave it all behind, amen. You got to leave the family behind, amen. You see, the family was good enough to get you to the place where you needed to be. But to, to complete the journey, you got to step out, amen. Step out from your father, amen. Step out from your mother, amen. Step out from your siblings, amen. And go and meet the Lord, amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to step out from your church environment, amen. Praise the Lord for the Ontario Church of God in Christ, amen. But sometimes I can't depend on COVID to get me exactly where I want to go. It's brought me to the place, but I need to make a move on my own, amen. I can't depend on word of life to carry me all the way, amen. You see, the ship will get you into the midst of the sea, into the presence of Jesus. Yeah. But to get to that face-to-face -face meeting, you need to step out, amen, and meet him on his terms, amen. You see, I can't come to the Lord, amen, wearing word of life and think that's going to carry me through, amen. One songwriter said, face-to-face, shall I behold him? Hallelujah. There comes a time when we need to meet the Lord face-to-face, -face, amen. So, you know, I can't depend on the church to carry me right to the very presence. I can't depend on my education to bring me into the presence. I can't depend on my family name and my pedigree to bring me into the presence. But I gotta leave that all behind. Hallelujah. 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 I gotta do like Paul did. I gotta count it off. I've lost. Hallelujah. To the more excellent prize. I gotta shake it off, man. It's good as it was. It's good as it has been. I gotta drop that stuff off. I gotta push forward. 
With your body rocking with pain, you can meet the God of healing. Yes. Yes. The bomb of Gilead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even when your soul starving, amen, you can meet the manna from heaven. Hallelujah. Yes. The very bread of life. Amen. Even with the darkness covering you, you can meet the son of righteousness. Yes. Right there in the midst of the darkness, amen. Yes. Hallelujah. But you just need to step out in the storm. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm coming down, but I want to see Be encouraged, amen. We are facing many storms, amen. As a young pastor, I can tell you, I have storms I didn't know about before. Well, Lord, don't you know we've been doing 